myself, Mr. Jangle Sanket Surendra, lecturer from Mola Education Society's Mola Rural Institute of Pharmacy Sone. Today, we will discuss the chapter ointments. Contents The chapter contains the introduction of the ointments, advantages and disadvantages of ointments, classification of ointments, classification of ointment bases, selection of dermatological factors, preparation of ointments, and storage of ointments. Learning outcomes The learner will be able to understand the introduction, advantages and disadvantages of ointments, classification of ointments, classification of ointment bases, selection of dermatological factors, preparation of ointments, and storage of ointments. Now, we will see the definition of ointments. Before that, the ointment is a semi-solid dosage forms which are mainly meant for the external application such as creams, jellies, paste, etc. The suppositories are also included in this category although these are the unit dosage forms. Now, we will see the definition. Ointments are soft semi-solid preparations meant for external application to the skin or mucous membrane. They usually contain medicament which is either dissolved or suspended in the base. They have emollient and protective action. Means these are the semi-solid dosage forms which are meant for external application only. Ointments are not used internally and generally they are applied on the skin or mucous membrane in which the medicaments are dissolved, suspended or emulsified in the ointment bases having the properties emollient and protective in a action. Now here we will see the categories or the meaning of these properties. First one is the emollient. Emollient means an agent that softens the skin or soothes irritation in skin or mucous membrane. It is called as the emollient. Protective means a substances that protects injured or exposed skin surface from harmful. Occlusive means what? A substance that promotes retention of water in the skin by forming a hydrophobic barrier means a layer that prevents evaporation of moisture from within the skin. Humectant, it is a substance that causes water to be retained because of its hygroscopic properties. These are the some terms which are important as per the point of view in the ointments. Now, we will see the advantages of ointments. Handling of ointments is easier than bulky liquid dosage forms because they are viscous, very much viscous or thick in a nature. They are chemically more stable than the liquid dosage forms. They facilitate application of the directly to the affected body part and avoid exposure of other parts to the drug. They are suitable for patients who find it difficult to take the drugs by parenteral and oral route. They prolong the contact time between the drug and affected area. The bioavailability of drug administered as ointments is more since it prevents passage through liver. Disadvantages of ointments They are bulkier than solid dosage forms. When applications of an exact quantity of ointments to be affected area is required, it is difficult to ascertain the same. They are less stable than the solid dosage forms. Now we will start with the classification of ointments. Now, the ointments are classified according to the two types. First is according to their therapeutic properties based on a penetration and second type is according to their therapeutic uses. Now we will see the first type. Ointments according to their therapeutic properties based on a penetration. It is classified again into three types. Epidermic ointments 
endodermic ointments and diadermic ointments we will see the first epidermic ointments these ointments are meant for action on epidermis and produce local effect they are not absorbed this type of ointments are mainly used as protectives antiseptics local anti infectives and parasiticides second one a uh, endodermic ointments these ointments are meant for action on a deeper layers of cutaneous tissues they are partially absorbed and acts as a emollients stimulants and local irritants third one is the diadermic ointments these ointments are meant for deep penetration and release the medicaments that pass through the skin and produce systemic effects this was the classification according to the penetration now second class of the ointment is the according to their therapeutic uses it is classified into a 12 sub classes now starting with the first antibiotic ointments these ointments are used to kill a microorganisms the antibiotics used are bactericin neomycin and chlortetracycline etc second one is the antifungal ointments these ointments are used to inhibit or kill the fungi the commonly used antifungal agents are benzoic acid salicylic acid and nystatin etc third one is the anti inflammatory ointments these ointments are used to relieve inflammatory allergic and pruritic conditions of the skin beta methasone hydrocorticosone and its acetates are some of the commonly used anti inflammatory agents fourth one is the anti pruritic ointments these ointments are used to relieve itching the anti pruritic drugs commonly used are benzocaine and coal tar fifth one is the astringent ointments these ointments causes contraction of the skin and decreases discharges the astringents commonly mixed with the ointment bases are calamine zinc oxide acetic acid and tannic acid sixth one is the anti eschematous ointments these ointments are used to prepare or prevent oozing and excretion from vesicles on the skin the drugs which are commonly mixed with the ointment bases are hydrocorticosones coal tar and salicylic acids etc seventh one is the keratolytic ointments these ointments are used to remove or soften the horny layer of the skin the drugs that remove keratin are resorcinol salicylic acid and sulfur eighth one is the counter irritant ointments these ointments are applied locally to irritate the skin thus reducing or relieving another irritation or deep seated pain the drugs used are capsicum methyl cellulose oleoresin and iodine etc ninth one is the and ointments which are used for dandruff treatments means anti dandruff ointments these ointments are applied locally to get relief from dandruff the drugs commonly used are salicylic acid and cetrimide ointments for psoriasis treatment coal tar corticosteroid dithranol and salicylic acid are incorporated with the suitable ointment bases for treatment of psoriasis parasiticide ointments these ointments destroy or inhibit living infestations such as lice and ticks the drugs commonly mixed with ointment bases are benzyl benzoate hexachloride sulfur etc 12th one is the protectant ointment this ointments protects the skin from moisture air sun rays or other substances such as soap or chemicals the drugs which are used in protectant ointments are calamine zinc oxide 
सिलिकॉन्स एक्सेट्रा हाँ आइडियल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ऑइंटमेंट्स केमिकली एंड फिजिकली दे आर स्टेबल अंडर नॉर्मल कंडीशंस ऑफ यूज एंड स्टोरेज नॉन रिएक्टिव एंड कंपेटिबल विथ अ वाइड वराइटी ऑफ ड्रग्स एंड ऑक्जिलरी एजेंट्स दीज ऑइंटमेंट्स आर फ्री फ्रॉम ऑब्जेक्शनेबल ओडर्स दे आर नॉन टॉक्सिक नॉन सेंसिटाइजिंग एंड नॉन इरिटेटिंग Aesthetically appealing, easy to apply, and non and non greasy. These ointments remain in a contact with the skin until removal is desired. Now we will start with the classification of the ointment bases. Now what are the ointment bases? The substances are the part of an ointment which serves as a carrier or vehicle for the medicament. it's called as the ointment basis while selecting a suitable ointment basis the factors such as the action desire nature of the medicament to be incorporated and the stability of ointment are to be considered there is no single ointment base which possesses all the qualities of an an ideal ointment base so it becomes necessary to use more than one ointment basis in the preparation of ointment now we will see the classification of ointment bases ointment bases are classified into a four types first one is the oleogenous bases second one is the absorption bases third one is the emulsion bases and fourth one is the water soluble bases now we will start with the first base that is oleogenous base these bases consist of water insoluble hydrocarbon vegetable oils animal fats and waxes the constituents of hydrocarbon bases are soft paraffin hard paraffin and liquid paraffin now we will see the first one petrolatum it is also known as soft paraffin it is a purified mixture of semi solid hydrocarbons obtained from petroleum there are two varieties of soft paraffin one is yellow soft paraffin and other is white soft paraffin white soft paraffin is prepared by bleaching yellow paraffin both these soft paraffins have melting point of 38 degree celsius to 56 degree celsius white soft paraffin is never used in the preparation of ophthalmic ointments because the white soft paraffin may contain small traces of bleaching agents which are generally left over after the bleaching the yellow soft paraffins hence they may cause a irritation to the eyes second one is the hard paraffin it is purified mixture of solid hydrocarbons obtained from petrolatum it is colorless or white translucent odorless tasteless wax like substance it is used to harden or soften the ointment bases third one is the liquid paraffin it consists of a mixture of liquid hydrocarbons and obtained from petroleum by distillation it is also known as white mineral oil or liquid petroleum it is a colorless odorless tasteless and transparent oily liquid it is soluble in ether and chloroform but insoluble in water and alcohol it is used along with a hard paraffin and soft paraffin to get a desired consistency of the ointment the oleogenous bases are losing their importance nowadays for the various reasons first one is they are much more greasy second one they are sticky and are difficult to remove both from skin and clothing third one they retain body heat which may produce an uncomfortable feeling of warmth fourth one they did, do not help in the absorption of medicaments and fifth one they prevent drainage on oozing areas and also prevent evaporation of cutaneous secretions along with the perspiration now we will start with the second absorption bases the absorption those bases are generally anhydrous substances which have the property of absorbing 
considerable quantities of water but still retaining their ointment like consistency it is known as the absorption basis now you will see the first one wool fat it is a purified fat like substance obtained from the wool of sheep it is also known as anhydrous lanolin it can absorb about 50% of its weight of water so it is used in ointment where the proportion of water or aqueous liquids to be incorporated in a hydrocarbon base is too large it is an important constituent of simple ointment base and i ointment base second one is the hydrous wool fat it is purified fat like substance obtained from wool of sheep it is also known as lanolin it is insoluble in water but soluble in ether and chloroform hydrous wool fat is a mixture of 70% wet by wet wool fat and 30% wet by wet purified water it is used alone as emollient and as an ingredient for several other ointments third one is the wool alcohol it is obtained from wool fat by treating it with alkali and separating the fraction containing cholesterol and other alcohols it contains not less than 30% of cholesterol it is used as an emulsifying agent for the preparation of wbio emulsion it is also used to improve the texture stability and emollient properties of obiw type of the emulsions fourth one is the beeswax it is purified wax obtained from honeycomb of bees it is available as yellow beeswax and white beeswax white beeswax is obtained by bleaching the yellow beeswax it is used as stiffening agent in paste and ointments third one is the emulsion bases these bases are semi solid or have a cream like consistency both obiw and wbio emulsions are used as ointment base the oil in water type of emulsion bases are more popular because this can be easily removed from the skin or clothes by washing the water the wbio type of bases are greasy and sticky the emulsifying ointments is prepared from emulsifying wax white soft paraffin and liquid paraffin fourth one is the water soluble bases these are commonly known as greaseless ointment bases the water soluble bases consist of a water soluble ingredients such as polyethylene glycol polymers which are properly known as carbo waxes the carbo waxes are water soluble non volatile and inert substances depending upon the molecular weight carbo waxes are available in different consistencies that is liquids semi solids and solids the molecular weight varies from 200 to 800 by mixing different carbo waxes ointments of various consistencies can be obtained tragacanth gelatin pectin cellulose derivatives etc are also used in water soluble bases now we will start with the selection of dermatological vehicles there are there are large number of ointment bases which are available in the market they have already been discussed but none of the above discussed ointment bases fulfills the requirement of an an ideal ointment bases so the factors which governs the selection of an ideal ideal ointment bases are dermatological factor and pharmaceutical factor from that now first of all we will see the dermatological factor it consists of absorption and penetration effect on skin function miscibility with skin secretions and serum compatibility with skin secretions freedom from irritant effect and emollient properties now we will start with the first one absorption and penetration absorption means actual entry into blood stream that is systemic absorption whereas penetration indicates passage through the skin that is cutaneous absorption 
द स्किन हैज थ्री मेन लेयर्स द इपिडर्मिस डर्मिस एंड हाइपोडर्मिस द इपिडर्मिस इज नॉन वस्कुलर एंड एंटायरली सेल्युलर द ऑइंटमेंट बेस पेनिट्रेट्स डीप इन टू टिश्यूज ऑफ द स्किन अलॉंग विद द मेडिकामेंट्स एंड विच इज टर्न अलाउस द सिस्टमिक एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ मेडिकामेंट्स इन टू ब्लड स्ट्रीम इट इज प्रूव साइंटिफिकली दैट एनिमल फैट्स एंड फिक्सड ऑइल्स पेनिट्रेट्स मोर रेडिली थ्रू द स्किन इन कंपेरिजन टू द मिनरल ऑइल्स द सब्सटेंसेस विच आर सोल्यूबल बोथ इन ऑइल एंड वॉटर आर मोस्ट रेडिली एब्सॉर्ब द ओ बाय डब्ल्यू इमल्शन बेसिस रिलीजेस द मेडिकामेंट मोर रेडिली दैन ओलियोजेनस बेसिस और डब्ल्यू बाय ओ इमल्शन बेसिस सेकेंड वन इज द इफेक्ट ऑन स्किन फंक्शन ग्रीसी बेसिस मे इंटरफेयर विद द स्किन फंक्शंस लाइक हीट रेडिएशन एंड स्वीट एक्सक्रीशन मोर एवर दे आर इरिटर्न टू द स्किन द वॉटर सोल्यूबल बेसिस एंड ओ बाय डब्ल्यू इमल्शन बेसिस प्रोवाइड्स अ कूलिंग इफेक्ट rather than the healing effect the bases mix readily with skin secretions third one is the miscibility with skin secretions and serum skin secretions are more readily miscible with emulsion bases as compared to the greasy bases hence the drug is more rapidly and completely released to the skin due to this reason less proportion of the medicament is needed when emulsion bases are used similarly o by w emulsion bases being readily miscible with serum from bulk on skin are very useful as an ointment bases for ointments mean for weeping eczema compatibility with skin secretion generally a neutral ointment bases are preferable because they do not cause discomfort in use and are compatible with majority of medicaments the ointment bases should have a ph around 5.5 which is the average ph of the skin secretions fifth one freedom from irritant effect the ointment bases used should be non irritant greasy bases cause irritation and may cause edema all bases used should be of high standard of purity and bases used in the preparation of oint eye ointments should be non irritating and free from foreign particles emollient properties under normal conditions the continuous hydration occurs which keeps the skin sufficiently moist dryness and brittleness of the skin causes discomfort to the skin therefore the ointment bases used should possess emollient properties that should be able to keep the skin moist the humectants like glycerin and propylene glycol keep the skin surface moist and soft wool fat lard and paraffin keep the skin soft by preventing rapid loss of moisture from the skin second one is the pharmaceutical factor it consists of stability solvent properties emulsifying properties and consistency now we will start with the first point that is stability the fats and oils obtained from animal and vegetable sources are liable to undergo oxidation this can be prevented by incorporating a suitable antioxidant in desired concentration in the ointment base o by w type of emulsion bases are liable to microbial growth and needs a proper preservatives similarly ointments containing liquid paraffin may get oxidized in prolonged storage emulsified bases are liable to phase separation due to improper formulation or under the influence of temperature second one is the solvent properties most of the medicaments used in the preparation of ointments are generally insoluble in the ointment bases hence the uniform distribution is necessary to mix finely powdered drug in the ointment bases therefore it must be dispensed in a suitable base which should be kept in the phenol in solution form hence 
a base consisting of a mixture of hard and soft paraffin beeswax is recommended for phenol similarly the preparation of compound mercury ointment olive oil is used to keep the camphor in solution form third one is the emulsifying properties hydrocarbon bases can absorb only a small amount of water in a comparison to animal fats which can absorb the large quantity of the water for example wool fat can absorb about 50% of water and when mixed with other fats can take up several times its own weight of water or hydroalkylic liquids hence wool fat is included in the preparation of base meant for eye ointment similarly cetrimide emulsifying ointment is capable of absorbing considerable amount of water forming oyw creams fourth one is the consistency the ointment should be of suitable consistency it should neither be too hard nor too soft the consistency of an ointment base should be such that it is withstand wide variation in a temperature conditions the consistency of an ointment can be adjusted in a such a way that it contains a suitable quantity of high melting point substances like hard paraffin beeswax etc and in soft ointments and low melting point substances like liquid paraffin in hard ointments respectively now starting with the another point preparation of ointments the ointments can be prepared by the four methods first one is the trituration method second one is the fusion method third one is the chemical reaction method and fourth one is the emulsification method now we will start with the first method that is trituration method it is the most commonly used method for the preparation of ointments the methods is used when the basis is soft and the medicament is insoluble in the base so for uniform mixing of medicament in the base it becomes necessary to reduce the medicament to fine powder the following procedure is used to get a uniform ointment first of all we have to finely powder the solid medicaments then weigh the required quantity of an ointment base triturate the solid medicaments with a small amount of the base on a, an ointment slab with the help of the stainless steel spatula until a homogeneous product is formed then add remaining quantities of the base until the medicament is uniformly mixed with incorporate if any liquid ingredient is present then second method is the fusion method or the exam in this fusion method when an ointment base contains a number of solid ingredients of different melting points such as white beeswax stearic acid hard paraffin cetyl alcohol it is necessary to melt them in a decreasing order of their melting point this means that the substance with the highest melting point should be melted first then the substance with next melting point and so on this will avoid the overheating of the substances having low melting points the medicament is incorporated slowly in the melted mass stirred thoroughly until the mass cools down and homogeneous product is formed in the case of liquid ingredients or aqueous substance it is also to be incorporate that it should be heated at the almost to as same temperature as the melted bases in case the precaution is not observed then upon mixing the two proportions the waxes or the solids will cool down quickly and get separated this will prevent the uniform mixing of the ingredients sometimes due to rapid cooling of the melted mass the wax solids separates out from the ointments and uniform product is not obtained in order to produce a uniform product it can be remelted over a water bath and again stirred until cool third one is the chemical reaction method a certain chemical reactions are involved in the preparation of several ointments for example 
iodine ointments in iodine may be present in the free form or in combined form with the ointment basis fourth one is the emulsification method in this method the fats oils and waxes are melted together on a water bath at a temperature of 70 degrees celsius the aqueous solution of all of the heat stable water soluble component is also heated at almost same temperature as that of the melted bases the solution is slowly added to the melted masses with continuous stirring until the product cools down or semi solid mass known as ointment is prepared an emulsifying agent is needed to make a stable emulsion for a long time water soluble soaps are commonly used as an emulsifier for semi solid obw emulsions sometimes the emulsified ointments require a combination of emulsifiers a combination of triethylamine stearate soap and cetyl alcohol is used as an emulsifier in obw emulsions and a combination of beeswax and divel calcium ion is used as an emulsifier for w by o type of the emulsions now other additives which are used in the ointments during the dispensing of ointments the preservatives antioxidants chelating agents and perfumes may be incorporated with the ointment base along with the medicaments methyl paraben and propyl paraben may be incorporated as a preservatives to prevent the microbial growth in ointment during its storage for a long time to prevent the loss of moisture from the preparation the humectants such as glycerin propylene glycol or sorbitol may be added perfumes may also be incorporated to the ointments to give pleasant odor to it sometimes a perfume blend is added to the ointments to produce an ointments having a required pleasant odor antioxidants are needed to be incorporated with ointments whenever there are chances of oxidative decomposition of the ingredients chelating agents can be included to prevent the catalytic oxidation degradation of trace elements now packing and storage of ointments ointments are dispensed in a glass or plastic jars having screw caps with impermeable liners nowadays ointments are generally supplied in plastic or metallic collapsible tubes amber color glass containers are used for ointments containing light sensitive drugs nowadays ointments are generally supplied in a plastic or metallic collapsible tubes the ointments should be stored in a well closed container so as to prevent the loss of volatile constituents the ointments should be placed in a cool and dry place they should be protected from high temperature or direct sunlight the container should be labeled as for external use only here today we'll stop with the ointments thank you thank you very much